Hi guys, it's Stephanie C. Harper, publisher of Career Magazine, and today's video is about social media suicide. A few things that we are doing on social media websites that we just need to stop, you know, knock it off. This is going to be um, kind of a long video. I'm going to try to put all this together for you as quickly as I can, but I have quite a few things that I'd like to cover. I shared with you all on Monday about an email that I received from a young lady whom I have no idea who she is, what affiliation she's with, or anything like that. But I received an email Monday morning, bright and early on Monday morning, and her email said, Hello, Stephanie. I am contacting you because, and then there was the number one, you appear to have it going on with Career Magazine. And the number two, I would like to invite you to support my blah, blah, blah. Well, I immediately um, thought that her email was funny and I posted something on my business page about it and said, you know, before you ask anyone for something, first of all, try to add value to what they're doing. And second of all, you know, make sure that when you're asking for something, it's a win-win. By supporting her event, it meant give up some money. So I didn't even, um, I was totally turned off by the email. So I didn't uh, even really respond to see what the, what the event was or anything. But I did notice, um, I did pay attention, however, to what she was asking me for. And what she was asking me for was to basically support an event that she was doing that would cost me $125. Now, let's go a little bit deeper. Um, I don't live in the same city that she lives in. As a matter of fact, I don't even live in the same state that she lives in. So in order for me to support her event, which I believe was next Friday, I would have to uh, get an airline ticket, uh, possibly a hotel room, uh, possibly fly some staff down, X, Y, Z. But okay, here we go. I'm going to talk to you about social media suicide, all right? So as you can kind of see, you see where this whole thing went wrong with this email. But I want to talk to you guys about several things that we just need to stop doing via social media. So first of all, if you're going to contact someone via email, make sure that your email is, you know, it adds value to what they're doing. Don't email someone and immediately ask them for something. They don't know you. They probably are not going to support you. Um, matter of fact, this chick was not even on my friends list. So this was just a random someone who probably saw a post or, or something that I've done somewhere else. And, you know, whatever I said struck her interest. So she probably read my profile or whatever. I don't know. That's all my assumption. But just don't do that. OK, so number one, if you're going to send someone an email, first of all, the least you can do is try to pretend that you're interested in what they're doing. Second of all, um, I was up really, really late. Um, sending out uh, over 3,000 emails to people who are currently on my friends list and asking them to join me on the Career Magazine page. I realized that, um, well, those of you who follow, you know that I really try to keep business and personal separate. And so I was kind of looking through my friends list and I thought, you know what, this person really should be on my business page and this person really should be on my business page so I just did a, a, a mass email saying hey you know come on over to um, my business page well immediately I want you to remember that I'm up working late in the middle of the night and it's 3 30 in the morning so I send out this um, message with hopes that when people wake up in the morning it will be waiting in their inboxes for them and uh, one of the gentlemen who is on my friends list instantly sends me an instant message. The instant message says, Hi, Stephanie. Thank you for telling me about the Career Magazine page. I noticed that you have well over uh, 2,000 people connected on your page. Please tell me how I can get more traffic to my page. And I responded back, I do have some suggestions that I can offer, but I will not be doing that at 3.30 in the morning. 
Come on, guys. Just, ooh, okay. All right, let me try to get through this video. We're already at five minutes, and I have a couple more things I want to talk to you about. Um, so immediately after sending out this email, this same gentleman um, began to spam my wall on the Career Magazine page. So now, hello, you don't come on to someone else's page and spam their wall. It's perfectly okay for you to say, hello, I'm so-and-so, this is what I do, possibly give a link, but to sit there and start spamming someone's wall is just, you know, another way to commit social media suicide. So needless to say, I blocked them from my wall and I blocked them from my friends list. Peace. Deuces. All right. So um, another email that I got, I got a little list here. Another email that I received this week says, I would like to talk to you to learn more about what you do. Can you guys tell me what the information tab is for? Okay, there is an information tab. Even if you are not friends with someone, in many instances, people don't have their information tab blocked. So all you have to do to find out a little bit more about the person is read. There's a little saying that says reading is fundamental. I don't know. But if you can't find what you're looking for on, on their information tab, possibly Google or, you know, something like that. But... You know, I'm like all over the place. I my my name is there. If you look at my job, my business is there. Um, I have links and websites and um, all kinds of stuff that will tell you exactly what I do. I'm just not going to spend the time um, answering emails to people that are asking me, you know, what is it that I do? Now, it's one thing if you find that you go to my website and I have no information there. Now, that has happened. I've come across people's profile, click on their info tab, and, you know, maybe they have a link to a website. You click on the website, the website's not up, or you click on the website, you don't see a bio, or you can't really tell what they do. And in that instance, of course, it's perfectly fine to email them, ask them what they do. But in my case, all of my information is out there. So it, it just, you know, told it, I don't know. I don't want to make assumptions about people and their work habits or anything like that, but it's all right there on the information tab. Okay, and then I am heading to Baltimore to speak for a conference, and I tagged a couple of people, a couple of my friends who are in the Baltimore area to tell them, hey, I'm coming your way. Well, a person who, again, is not a friend of mine happened to see this uh, conference flyer on the page of a friend of a friend's, and they see my information on the flyer and they send me an email that says, Hi, I'm so-and-so-and-so and I noticed that you're having an event on so-and-so-and-so. Can I be your worship leader? Who are you? Okay, enough said. All right, so first of all, it's not my event. Second of all, um, if you had actually taken the time to read the flyer, you would know that there is a young lady that they have already designated to be their worship leader. Not to say that you can't come along, but uh, I just thought that was a little tacky. So just these are things that you just don't do. These are quick ways to commit social media suicide. And then um, get up this morning. This is what prompted me to just go ahead and sit down and do this video. And I know I'm at nine minutes, but this has to be said, okay? Um met a young lady about three or four years ago, was launching a magazine, um, and I know that it was three or four years ago because we were also launching Career Mag, and that came out in 2008, and we happened to be at the same function, but I promise you that this lady and I connected on Facebook, but we have never had a conversation since the day we connected. So she sends me an email that says, I'd like to personally invite you and your staff to attend, blah, blah, blah. Well, what have you been doing for the last three years? Why haven't you reached out to me? Because in that meeting, you told me that you were going to call me and we would cross promote. Well, none of that has happened. But now you're having a gala event and you want Career Magazine's help. 
Okay, social media suicide. And then, I know this is a big pet peeve for quite a few people, uh, the ability to add people to groups. Can we stop doing this? Create an event or, you know, tell people, hey, I've created this vi this um, group, come over and join me. But please, can we stop adding people to groups? Here's the deal. Again, I'm speaking from my perspective. Many of you know that I do quite a bit of traveling, which means that I have my email connected to my cell phone. So when I am added to a group and I'm flying from one side of the country to another side of the country, by the time I get there, I have to spend a considerable amount of time not only deleting emails from this group that I've just been added to and everyone in the group, all of their emails, because until you go in and adjust the settings, you're getting an email every time someone posts in the group. Well, I have to go and delete that from not only my email, but also my phone. So let's just be a little bit more considerate about your friends, because I'm telling you, if you add me to a group, I'm deleting you, point blank. And then lastly, I want to talk to you guys something about um, how we act in public. When I say how we act in public, I mean these groups that we're a part of. Um, I belong to a particular writing group, and there is um, one person who feels that every time I make a post, they have to challenge me. Um, I'm just going to say this as, as bluntly as I know how. Until you have my credentials, you cannot challenge my credentials. Okay? So, we're going to kind of put a pin there, stick a pin in that. But I just want to say, mind your manners in public. Okay? So, here are the ways that you are committing social media suicide. Stop it. Stop it. I'm Stephanie C. Harper with Career Magazine. I know that a few of you have been asking me, where's that video you said you were going to make? Well, there you have it. Thank you for indulging me for the last 12 minutes. Stop committing social media.